it's no, not funded. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's that's great. Great. Okay, Tony, please. Mr. Mayor, councillors. Kira, my name's Tony Simpson. I'm a film and television producer here in Christchurch. Um, I'm here to support the submission for the Screen Canterbury Christchurch NZ production grant, like these other folks have been. We want to see it continue in the long-term plan. I've been in the industry for 37 years. I've worked in all sorts of areas, um, from big budget Hollywood movies to one of the first directors on Shortland Street. I've made two feature films, um, and in the process of making a third down here in Christchurch. My last film, Kiwi Christmas, was the story of Santa going AWOL in New Zealand, and it had a budget of $3.2 million. I was set to shoot in Nelson, and uh, it signed a letter of support for $30,000 um, from the e Nelson Economic Development Agency. But the newly appointed head of the EDA withdrew the offer the week before Christmas, and we were supposed to be shooting at the end of January, and um, I knew New Zealand sort of closes down for a whole month, so um, I had to quickly come up with a plan B. I rang the Auckland Film Office and they said, yeah, we can help you out. In fact, we've got a fantastic beach that'd be perfect for you. So I jumped on a plane and um, went and had a look at this with the help of the Auckland Film Office. And so within 24 hours, I'd shifted a $3.2 million film to Auckland. Uh, I tell that story just to, to show that even a small amount of money can make or break a film. And that's why this production grant is so essential, even though it's a small part of their overall budget, it is important to the, to the makeup of the whole project. Um, the, uh, the production grant has certainly had, uh, it, it gives a certainty to producers that we know that we have the support of the Christchurch City Council and the community behind us there. That is really important for us. And to date, um, the, the, it has brought in uh, nine films plus another two, um, so that's 11 films, nine are finished and still two to go. Um, that's that's 11 in total. That's incredible for the business that we're in. Um, and if we include all of that in the, after these other, after the final two, that's a uh, uh, projected $18 million brought into the local economy from a grant of one5 this is a significant cost-benefit ratio, 18 million for 1.5. Um, and there was no real risk either because the majority of the budgets are funded by the New Zealand On Air, New Zealand Film Commission, uh, the New Zealand Screen Production Grant and overseas distributors. So this, uh, the grant is really last in, in, into the whole uh, scheme of things. According to your uh, LTP, there's a section that a thriving prosperity uh, uh, city um, and it outlines that the, the council would like to see Christchurch regarded nationally and internationally as a centre that attracts people to do business. In 2021 and 2022, there were over 200 inquiries to the local film, film office nationally and internationally to, uh, uh, about filming in Christchurch. Um, it gives local uh, crews and businesses incredible opportunities, and um, we see that it was this was a, a, a from a purely economic point of view, the production grant was a resounding success. It was a visionary stroke of genius, and now every other film hungry city wants to catch up and bring in their own film incentives for the region. So. Um, we won't match Auckland, which is set up for the big budget Hollywood movies, or Wellington with Peter Jackson and um, James Cameron, but we can capture some of our own segment of the billion dollar film production market that comes to New Zealand. And um, as someone quoted before, the famous quote from the, the film, Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come, and they certainly did. So um, let's keep the screen Canterbury, Christchurch SNZ production grant in the long-term plan. Thank you. Thank you. Tyrone. Kia ora, Tony. Um, do you have any comments about um, the potential for Banks Peninsula as a, um, as a destination, either for in terms of locations or as an attraction for, for production crews and companies? 
Well, I see, I see really Christchurch as the base for everything here. I think there was a team or two was the um, production that filmed over in um, a little to Harbour. There's, um, it, I want to, I mean, I just look around and I see that my long-term goal is to create a series of family movies and we need to be doing it with inside the um, environments here because this is it costs money to travel everywhere but that is like on our back door the screen radius um, within goes right around to uh, Motu Carrara and so it can encompass a lot of those fantastic sort of um, landscapes over there thank so, you thank yeah, you very much brilliant brilliant thank, thank you. you okay Don please